Just a week after getting our first glimpse of a ghost ship spotted deep in the ocean off Hawaii's south shore, that ship's past now coming to life. Only on KITV4, we meet a man who played on the decks of that ship back when he was just a little boy. KITV4's Catherine Cruz shares his story. Oh, hey. History came alive in Waimanalo this morning. Mililani resident John McGuire Jr. and his family came to meet the scientists who brought back images of the deep. On one of its final dives this season, the university's deep sea submarines discovered a ghost ship sitting upright in 2,000 feet of water. It was a rare sight to see, the vessel with all its rigging mostly intact on the ocean floor. And on this morning, a man who sees the ship as far more than a sunken relic. And would you believe that when it was sunk, it was my father's birthday? McGuire's father, John Joseph McGuire Sr., was the chief engineer on board the cable laying ship, the Dickinson. John Jr. spent hours playing on board the vessel, dating back to when he was nine years old. I remember the Dickinson when they came in, they always had Pier 13. Mm -hmm. Across the street was the old Honolulu Ironworks, I think. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember, you know, going on a pier in the gangway and going in the back and always diving off, just waiting for my father to go home. McGuire's clear memories are helping to set the record straight. He believes when the Dickinson sailed into the harbor on December 7, 1941, it was likely Honolulu Harbor, not Pearl Harbor, as historians earlier thought. Scientists were eager to share the thrill of finding the historic shipwreck. I went around the other side and I went well up the current. As I was coming down, I saw this laying on the bottom. It was the engine order telegraph. Completely, there's no growth on it, no corrosion. Amazing, yeah. And it's on all stop. There's the bridge. So the, so missing the, whole, the upper part. Uh -huh. The whole uh, top of the bridge, the roof of the bridge came off, but you could look right down inside the bridge. Amazing. And it was, they were using like gliders. McGuire recalled the story he heard over and over again. How the crew talked about sighting a whale alongside their ship as they were heading toward Oahu that day in 41. That whale turned out to be a Japanese midget sub that was trying to sneak into the harbor using the cover of ships above. After countless deep dives over decades, Kirby says at the end of the day, it is a human connection to the maritime archaeological sites that makes the work so satisfying. He has some great stories, early, and that's what really brings these historic finds to life, is, is veterans like this that, that uh, you know, they... They remember all that the history, and it just really sort of transports you back to that time. That's a real reward for us. Now, McGuire's stories and pictures will help NOAA's Office of Marine Archaeology as it applies to get the site on the National Register of Historic Places to give it extra protection. The USS Kailua, also known as the Dickinson, remains the property of the U.S. Navy. Back to you, Paula.